But now let's say, for example, you're looking to lock in some profits and sell off a portion of an investment that you own in Robinhood. We're now going to sell off a couple dollars worth of VOO using the fractional shares. So what you're going to want to do is click on the trade button just like before. But instead, this time we're going to click on sell. And this is going to bring up the standard market order. Now, like I showed you before, you can open up this and look at the different order types if you wanted to use those. You could also also sell in whole shares if you had whole shares of stocks or ETFs to sell. But in this case, we're just going to sell in dollars and we're going to sell off $5 worth of VOO for this example. So just like before, you're going to type in the dollar value that you're looking to sell and then you're going to click on the review button and this is going to sell off 0 0.00969 shares. And when you're all set, you just go ahead and swipe up. And just like that, we sold off $5 worth of VOO. Now, after you sell a stock or ETF, you have to wait for those funds to settle in your Robinhood account before you are able to withdraw them to your bank account. And that's going to take two business days. So for example, if you sold on a Monday, you would be able to withdraw those funds on a Wednesday as long as there were no holidays in between.